Welcome to the channel guys. So in this video, I am going to share with you a video that Dan Wilson does breaking down Wayne Shorter's song, Ana Maria. It's a really cool tune. It's a advanced lesson, um, but one that I thought you guys would enjoy. It's a bit of bonus content that we had from shooting our course with Dan, Fretboard Freedom, which you guys can check in the link below. Shout out to everyone that's gotten that video course. It's been awesome. We've gotten a lot of great feedback from it. So in this video, Dan's gonna break down Ana Maria, and then next week he will perform, I'll, I'll share a clip of him performing some of the concepts he's going over on that tune as well. It's a really great study on the mode of Phrygian, if you guys aren't too familiar with that, and probably one of the best songs to practice your Phrygian modes. So hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you on Saturday for our lesson. One last thing, shout out to our new YouTube member, Steven. Glad to have you on board. Guys, if you want to get awesome exclusive content, new videos, my video courses for my eBooks are all going to be for the members' videos of VIP and above, check out the button below. It's the join button. If you click that, there's two different levels. If you do the VIP, you will get these extra member exclusive videos, which you can see on our channel page. Um, and if you're just the supporter level, then you get uh, live Q and A's every month, plus these member shout outs. So again, thanks Steven and to all the members that have joined so far. Okay, so today we're gonna break down one of, uh, one of my favorite Wayne Shorter tunes uh, called Ana Maria. And this is from the album uh, Native Dancer. Uh, <clears throat> it's featuring uh, Milton Nascimento. And uh, one of the things I love about the melody is it kind of helps you get through the changes. You know, um, the the melody like stripped down is a is a is a stripped down solo. You know, it's, and when I say stripped down, it's very stripped down because it's very singable. Uh, so, and that's one of the things you know when I when I learn a tune, I, I try to learn that melody first. Uh, so that's going to really tell the story of, of the harmony. So first we have, and it's very, very thematic, you know. Excuse my singing. this uh if i want to approach soloing over this so i try to think of uh just the sections like the progressions in the sections so so right there we have g major seven to uh e flat major seven uh over g and i look at this as a part of uh phrygian of g phrygian So that, and to my mind, you know, I could also look at this in terms of relative. So, you know, 
so uh, I could play like I was going from one to flat six or one to one to minor four. You know, you uh, and also the, the sus, the uh, G thirteen sus. You can utilize that two five relationship. So I could think. So, keeping that in mind, you know, you know, and I, I try to, uh, when I play my lines, I try to sing that melody so it's, uh, it's constantly uh, in the front of my mind, so... Now the next part, the next group. Now, so uh, this this part right here uh, starts on uh, D flat over F, um, G flat major seven flat five, goes to A flat minor, and then to B flat over A flat, which is kind of like a Lydian thing. Uh, so, keep in mind uh, where we started and where we're going. So, I look at this whole progression here as being in A flat. Uh, um, excuse me, being in D flat. So, we're going uh, one chord in first inversion, four, then. Uh, Five minor, five Lydian, and now we're we're going back to uh, to G minor. So so I view that as like a tritone sub for G minor. So you're thinking in, in D flat for a second, and as soon as you hit this Lydian chord, you you have to think about going back to uh, to G. So. Seven sus. That's a uh, C Lydian. Then this part right here always used to, to mess me up. A flat over C. C nine sus. Back to A flat over C. And that's all. That's all Phrygian. section goes it starts on uh, G major 7 sus two five to E flat the chromatic 2 5 to E flat so we got F minor 11 uh, E 7 sharp 9 sharp 11 um, E flat 9 sus and then Go right into uh, that sets you up for uh, for the giant steps moment here. So with that, you know I'm thinking right in the key of E flat to five, and then this the sus chord is preparing us to go right into D. Back here, uh, or into D, back to G minor, uh, excuse me. so right, right here we go from B flat major seven, A minor seven, uh, F minor. 
he kind of gives us a break in the harmony. A little sus. A D flat sus. So that, that whole section here, I'm treating that like, in the, like I'm in the key of F. So, so we got four, three, minor one. Sussed out here. Then we kind of take a, a little departure here. We're in B. And we're back uh, uh, to the giant steps moment. Back to A flat, leading to G. This is the finale. So we go B flat major seven to A minor, uh, F minor, back to our Phrygian. So that's the whole form, and uh, sometimes I like to. Uh, you know, play around with the uh, the Phrygian groove. I have uh, kind of an arrangement that uh, instead of just hanging on that Phrygian, I take some of the the chords that naturally exist in uh, that are naturally diatonic to uh, Phrygian, like uh, so. I'm taking uh, F uh, minor major nine. E7 sharp 9, uh, D half diminished with the uh, added 11, and C minor 9. So, and th this is kind of taken from Phrygian with uh, natural 13. Because I, I, I use those interchangeably, you know. Like the Kenny Kirkland version from his solo record. So I just took that and so Taking all that into account, this is when I, I start to solo over it. After I've done all that, you know, um, just kind of breaking it down, you know, chord by chord or group of chords by group of chords, I uh, now I feel comfortable to solo over it. So let's try that. <laughs> 